This is the easy user guide for the Mobilograph Ambulatory Blood Pressure Monitor from NewMed Healthcare. In this video, we follow the instructions as shown in the document Guide for Using the Mobilograph. This came with your device or can be downloaded from our support website www.mediserve.info forward slash manuals. The first thing we need to do is place freshly charged batteries into the device. Follow the label guidance within the battery compartment. Now push the grey communication cable into the side of the mobilograph, making sure you align the red dots. The device needs to be put into the communication mode. Press and hold the red button on the front of the mobilograph. CO for communication will now be displayed. With the recorder attached to the computer and the device in communication mode, we can now click onto the hypertension management software. This is labelled as HMS client software on your desktop. The Bluetooth port sets up and the patient database is configured. If we have already performed a 24 hour blood pressure on a patient using the mobilograph, we can click on the second icon. This will open the existing database and the appropriate patient can be selected. If this is for a new patient, we need to press the first icon. We can place a unique identifier such as the NHS number. We can then put in the surname followed by the first name. These are the only mandatory fields, then press save. The patient folder has been created. We can now send the patient information to the recorder. Press the third icon. This will now look into the recorder to see how it has been previously set up. We can see the patient details are ready to be sent. We can see the number of times the device will inflate throughout the day and the night. We can change any of these values by clicking on the arrow next to the field and selecting the number or over typing the number. Any changes must be sent to the recorder by pressing the send and activate button. We can then send the patient ID to the recorder by pressing the red Send Patient ID button. Once the patient ID has been stored, the program can now be closed. We are now ready to place the recorder onto the patient. Come in. Hello, Mr. Doe. Take a seat, thank you. We're going to put your 24 hour blood pressure monitor on today. So I need to set you up on a computer just to confirm that your name is John Doe. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm just getting all your information on here. I'm just going to measure your arm to see which cuff we need, the most comfortable one for you. Um, which hand do you write with? My right. Hand. So you're dominant on the right. So we're going to put it on the other side, on your left arm. Okay. Just going to measure it. It's in centimetres. So we measure you in centimetres around here. And it's 30 centimetres. The cuff we'll choose is this one medium one between 24 and 32 centimeters and we'll fix it onto your arm now. Okay. And it goes over there. Okay. Now 
up, I think. So then. so we put the machine into the holder. I'm going to take one manual reading now so you can see what it feels like. There we go. Just tightening up now. It's going to take three readings an hour during the daytime and one reading at night. If you're driving at all and you don't want it to go off, you can press this button here. Just press and hold and then it will stop inflating. If you take a shower, um, you can take the whole lot off. Don't touch this at all. Um, leave it to one side, take a shower and then put it back on. You don't have to touch any of the controls. So we'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Um, are there any questions? No. Nope. Okay, so we'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye. Come in. Morning, Mr. Doe. How Morning. are you? Yeah, not bad. How was it? A bit strange to start with, and okay. then it was okay. Excellent. So no problems there? No, no, no. Excellent. So we're just going to turn it off. There we are. And I'll we'll take that off of you there. Thank you. There we go. So I'll just take that Loop that through again. Thank you. And then there we go, well done. Thank you. Make sure the device is plugged into the computer, aligning the red dots. At this point, we need to put the device into communication mode. Hold the red button down until you see CO for communication in the LCD window. We now go back to the hypertension management software. Press the fourth icon, which is read data from the recorder. The computer is now looking for the recorder. Once it is found, it will tell us who the recording belongs to. We can confirm yes, that this is the correct patient. We can confirm the day night settings and the data will now be downloaded. Once download is complete, the patient folder will open. We can now select the blood pressure tab and select the date that the recording took place. We can now view the measurements, the profile, individual readings and finally the statistics report, showing us all the daytime and nighttime statistics and the averages. To print, we press the print icon. We need to select which page formats we would like printing. We can select to print to our local printer, however it is better to save as a PDF. When pressing the Save PDF button, a save window opens. In this example, we are saving to the desktop for ease. Once saved, we can close the program. We can now view the PDF by going to the location where the PDF was saved. If you would like to attach the PDF into the medical record, simply browse to this location and attach using your particular attach function. This concludes the easy user guide for the Mobilograph Ambulatory Blood Pressure Monitor.